Alright, so this is a quick tutorial on how to make a profile using a custom directory in the Minecraft launcher. Oh, what you want to have is your Minecraft launcher open, as well as file explorer with .minecraft open. Now, let me make that a little bit bigger. So in your file explorer, which ooh, it looks like that captured terribly, but hopefully it's coming through. Uh, you want to make a new folder. This will be your new directory, and it's within .minecraft. And we can name this whatever we want. Let's say, so let's make this a 1.8 directory. So then we have this empty folder. So then we minimize out of that, open up our Minecraft launcher. Uh, we go to installations, we create a new installation, we'll name it 1.8, and we'll set the use version, uh, might take a minute. You have to scroll through all these snapshots if you have snapshots enabled, there it is, 1.8.9. And where it says game directory, we'll click browse. And heck, that's bringing up a window that's not showing up here. You add a window capture. Oh, capture the perfect window. Okay, so it'll bring up this window here. Uh, ooh, double mouse, that's cool. There we go. Bring up this window here, which we'll want to go down to dot .minecraft. We'll want to open that up. We we'll want to choose. Oh, passed it, didn't I? Yeah. We we'll want to choose our new folder as the destination. Click OK. And then, of course, enter your JVM arguments. Maybe browse through and grab whatever Java version you want to use, such as I personally do this for every profile. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, go to. Not network. This PC, Windows, Program Files, Java, Java Runtime Environment, then, and then what you want to pick here is the Java W.exe, and then say we want to allocate a little bit more RAM here. That's how you do that. You just up this number, how many gigabytes. Now, when we create this profile, we scroll down to it. We can go over here and we can scroll down to it. And we click play. It'll prepare to launch. If we open up our folder here, we'll see, we'll see this slowly get populated here. Now we have our logs, resource packs, and saves. And if this was a uh, Forge version we were running, a mods folder and configs folder would also appear in here. Let me just mute that. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to making a custom directory within your directory. As you can see, I've got several of those. I got alpha. I've got uh, this one, which was for when I was trying to launch Dolliver. Uh, FDB Ultimate Revival. The Fantasy Adventure Pack. The one I just made, one for Pixelmon, one I use for panoramas. Uh, the current Tech vs. Magic, one of the old Tech vs. Magics, Terraformer Craft. You can see you can have a lot of directories in here. And it's really easy to just access another one. Hopefully this tutorial can get you through what you need to do. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you for taking